Did GPT 4.5 just get leaked by somebody at OpenAI? Let's jump in and take a look. This all started just a couple of hours ago when somebody named Hefe Pesos posted this on Reddit. Anyone hear of GPT 4.5 drop today? And when you take a look at the image and you expand it out, you can see at the top that it appears to be an OpenAI.com pricing document. It's draft equals true and it has this private token associated with it. So based on that information alone, it seems like this could be real and it could be an internal testing document, something that maybe the marketing team has been putting together and is getting ready to release to the public. Now, all we know so far is some of the capabilities. So it says our most advanced model brings multimodal capabilities across language, audio, vision, video, and 3D alongside complex reasoning and cross modal understanding. There are a few things to sort of digest from this, I think. So first of all, let's step back and talk about multimodal. What, what that means is it's able to understand different types of input. So normally you interact with ChatGPT by inputting text, but with GPT-4 Vision, you were able to also supply images, which it was able to understand and give you back information about. It sounds like from this leak that they've expanded that to where you can perhaps upload audio, you can also upload video. This would be in line with what we saw from what turned out to be faked from Google, but the Gemini demonstration where it was able to analyze video and then give back thoughts and feedback on that. Although in OpenAI's case, this could actually be the real deal. And the last one is 3D. And that one's a little bit more ambiguous to me. I don't quite know what they mean by 3D. It could be that they're talking about 3D models. So could GPT actually generate a three-dimensional model, something that you could input into CAD or perhaps even into a 3D printer and you could 3D print? Or is it simply that it understands from the images that you upload the three-dimensional space around you? That'd be pretty handy for things like Dolly 3, right? or perhaps even Dolly 4, if that's in fact the case that comes out of this. But that remains to be seen. And this last line is really interesting to me as well, alongside complex reasoning and cross-modal understanding. So presumably if you upload, let's say a video, an audio clip, and you provide a text prompt, I'll be able to use all of that data put together in order to kind of come up with one singular picture or view of what's happening and then present you back with some information. This could really push things forward with things like robotics. Robots need to be able to walk into a room, understand the three-dimensional space, take in visual cues in the form of a real-time video input, and then understand what's happening in the world around them. I really think these large language models are gonna pave the way for advanced robotics over the next few years, and this could be another step toward that. Of course, that's just me speculating and wishful thinking, but I really think we're making progress there. Now, outside of that, it shows that there are three different models, GPT 4.5, 4.564K, and then GPT 4.5 Audio in Speech. Now, this is pretty common. They typically have different models that you're able to access via their API endpoints. The audio in Speech, I think, makes a lot of sense. This is gonna be for things like chatbots. I think you'll be able to have a natural language conversation with ChatGPT, much like you do in the iOS GPT app, perhaps even improved above and beyond that though. The next piece is the context window. So GPT 4.564K, this is the context window. You can think of this as basically the working memory of the model. When you're in here and you're having a conversation with ChatGPT, each word that you type and each response is essentially one token. Now, some words are multiple tokens, but that's beyond the scope of this. And so the working context, the memory that GPT has is based on its context window. So what it's able to do is it's able to say, okay, with a 32K context window, I can look at the last 32,000 tokens in the conversation and I can make inferences about that. It might not be the last 32,000. It could be the first and part of the middle and then the end. It depends on how they mix it all together, but essentially, 32K context window is about 40 pages of text. So with a 64K context window, that's a lot of text. It's able to keep in working memory a tremendous amount of data. That's gonna make the conversations more useful that it comes back with. GPT-4 Turbo, which is what's being used in ChatGPT today, has 128K context window. That's a fairly recent addition. Before that, it was much smaller than that. Now, of course, Again, this is all speculation. This is just one leaked internal document on a Reddit forum. 
Who knows if any of this is real, but if it is, I think we're getting ready for a really cool release from the team at OpenAI. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll check you next time. Thanks as always, I'm Brian. This is All Your Tech AI.